Hello, in this screencast, I'm going to talk about some of the features of Google Earth that will help you to complete your assignments. One thing I want to point out is that Google Earth does constantly update um, as they get their programmers to make new changes. Things move around, so this video may not look exactly like what you're seeing in Google Earth in the version you have. Um, so if that's not the case, kind of look closely. You can always contact me for additional help, um, and I'll try to help you find it. Just remember, when you're looking at Google Earth, you probably can't see the top of my screen in the screencast. Um, but at the very top of your um, bar, you'll see there's a Google Earth. It has preferences. Um, it has a file option so you can open and save things. There's the edit so you can locate things. You can change the view. You can look for tools like the ruler or the GPS. And then you can add place marks and folders and you can zoom in and out and there's a help. Okay, so this is a good place to look for things if you're not seeing it specifically looking for the ruler. Um, and then also in the view, you can change kind of the things that you're looking at. You can set a start location, etc. Um, okay, so one question that constantly comes up with my students is where the eye altitude is. Now if you look, I'm going to kind of move the mouse down into the bottom right corner. It says eye altitude, and in this case it's being measured in miles. So this just tells you from this view, we are 6,834.43 miles above the surface of the Earth. Now if we zoom in, you'll see that the eye altitude changes. And this is an important thing to look at when you're trying to look at specific features. So as we're zooming in right now into the Midwest of the United States, kind of. So if we're trying to look at a feature, oh, we're actually landing straight onto a city. So you might have to zoom in pretty far before features start to stand out. So we are now 8,822 feet above the surface. If we want to scroll over here and take a look, oh, look here's a nice river feature. Um, so we can kind of look at this and you can see how this channel has evolved over time just by looking at these shapes um, that are here. So that will help you figure out where you should be to see different features. Sometimes if you're too far out, you won't be seeing what I'm trying to point out. Um, and sometimes if you're too far in, let's see, let's see if, if we came too close, we're just maybe get down to where we're, you know, 1500 feet above the surface. You know, we see this nice river, but you might not be seeing the other specific features that I want you to see. So do pay attention to that eye altitude. If you need to change the units that you're in, um, that should be done. Let's see, I gotta try to remember where we do that. Tools, ruler, we'll pick up the ruler. You can change your ruler from miles to kilometers, and I think that will help. No, nope, that's still in. Okay, so you can change back and forth. I generally put things in miles because they're a little bit easier for most of us to recognize. Um, there's also the rule t ruler tool up here at the top. Okay, and so the distance, um, this is just letting us measure things. So we might say like how, whoops, how wide is this? And we can see down in the, down here, it's 0 0.03 miles. Maybe that's not useful for you, so we want to measure it in feet, 178 feet. Okay, so we can kind of clear that out. All right, so that's how we would use the ruler. And then the last thing that we wanted to try to put on here I don't remember how we change that. We'll do preferences under Google Earth. There we go. So under preferences, and we're just going to look. So we are showing everything in degrees, minutes, and seconds. In this case, it's in feet and miles. If we want to do meters and kilometers, we just switch that in this units of measurement. And we're going to click OK. And you can see that down here in the bottom right corner, that has changed. So again, it was under the Google Earth drop down under preferences, and you can switch back to feet and miles depending on what you prefer, and hit OK. That's it. I hope that helps you measure, uh, get through measuring things, seeing where you are. Just remember, kind of zoom in, zoom out, pay attention to your eye altitude, and the other thing is finding that ruler. Once you open up that box, you can move it to the side, and again, you can measure things. Whoops, just by clicking. Hope that helps.